golfers Eric Silver with EJF Golf and SwingMirrors.com. So today we're going to look at one of the three mirrors I have. This is the, uh, you know, this is almost as big as the big one, but a little bit smaller. Um, one piece, and so the other one breaks down into two. So we're going to use this one. I think this is an all-around great size mirror. If you don't ever need to break one down, you know, this is good. Um, so as I've shown you in the other video here, everything is adjustable. So if I want this thing back like this, I can do something like that. If I want more upright, I can get it there however I want, which is so cool with these things. The adaptability is awesome. And, and, and believe me, folks, as far as for training mirrors, I use them, okay? This is for golf, and what I do as a golf teacher, this is, they're indispensable to have something like this. So first video basically I'm gonna make for you guys is, is training, how do we train our uh, takeaway and backswing on these, okay? so. I want to make sure I'm always getting a good angle. And what you'll notice that my ones at work is I have, um, well, I'll just tell you, you can't see what's at work right now. I have them marked, okay? These things I can use um, erasable markers on them. So you can go something like this. If I need to mark a line, I would even take something like this and make sure I have it. If I want to use, if I want to use something like this angle here of the club, I could use it to mark it on there. So let's say I'm trying to mark this angle of the club here. So I can work on like takeaway stuff here, right? I'm gonna actually have it this way. And then I can go like this and mark it. So what I'm gonna do here is this, is I'm just gonna basically show you this, how this marks on here. And then basically I'm gonna show you how it's erasable. But in, in, in other videos we're going to go to, I will show you what it's like when it's marked on already. Right now, I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to keep it nice and clean as it is and show you how we're going to work on this. Okay? So, if I want to work on building a good takeaway, okay? I want to think of this club moving away where it's actually getting closer to me, to my right thigh on the takeaway, and this club head staying out. So now I'm looking in this mirror behind me. This is perfect. And seeing what I'm doing here. So it's getting closer to me, but I'm seeing this club going out. Now it's perfect right here, and then I can watch it go up. So if I want to train the takeaway and a little bit of backswing, I'm going to go, okay, first move is going to be this. This club's going to be going more inside. Now, if you notice, there's no taking it away. So when I get to my thigh, I always like this if you have a T in the club right here, which I have one right here. The T in the club right here, it will be pointing at your thigh when you get to here, okay? Which I call about P one and a half, because P two is gonna be right here, okay? So we're gonna come from here to here. It's pointing at my thigh. The next move from that is get this club going. As we start rotating, this club goes through my hands and I wanna get up to arm parallel at that point and check it from there. And so that's a perfect position I'm in. This T now is pointing right along where would be my ball line, okay? That's your first drill to do in this. You're training the takeaway and some of the backswing. So you got P1, 2, 3 in this training. So P1 is right here set up. P2 is when we get to right here, okay? P3 is arm parallel. But I like to think of it like this, okay? I like to think of the first move as P1 and a half. This would be my P basically two if I were doing it, but get to the to the thigh where the club is head is outside my hands. The T is pointing at my right thigh and from there looking in the mirror it's going up through the club head would go from here up through my hands as I rotate. So I feel like the my shoulders a little bit under my chin and I'm at arm parallel and this would be pointing up right along my ball line about when I get to there, okay? So basically you're getting from P1 to P3 from there, but in two moves. These are, to me, the most critical moves we can make in our golf swing to get started correctly. Why? Because if we don't start right, we're always making up in our swing. We're always making up for what we've done wrong, okay? So you're gonna find out from here, you're gonna check in the mirror and then go, okay, is this going from here? Is it going through my hands then to get to parallel here, okay? That's your first move here. There'll be subsequent videos you can check out, but this is where I want you to focus on is getting this part right. Nick Faldo said if he could change one thing in his career, what would he do? He'd do more mirror work, okay? I have all my students do it. I spend a ton of time doing mirror work. It's how you can nail your golf swing. How are you gonna see it? I tell people if you're not having some form of feedback, now this is feedback, 
all you're doing is exercising because we don't know what we're doing. We don't know if it's correct. We're not attaching correct feels to it. And people go, well, how do I get feels out of it? This is the best way to get feels is by sitting here and going, okay, I know this is correct. So then I can maybe start doing it with my eyes closed and go, okay, this is right. I know it's right. I'm going to check it. I'm going to look in the mirror. Okay. It's pointed at my thighs still. What feel am I getting? What's happening? Yeah. Is my body moving a little bit? Yes, it is. But what feel is it? And then once I get that, I get here and then I can attach those feelings to it. So let me know if you have any questions. My name is Eric Schulberg with EJS Golf and this is Swing Mirrors. So swingmirrors.com. You want to get one of these? Read the description below, but you can get a discount also by going to ejsgolf.com slash gear. Everything will be in the description. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Eric Schulberg with SigmaMirrors.com and EJS Golf.